Could you, how do you handle the uncertainty of, you know, you're on the bench three games and you play three games and on the bench two more than you play? Uh, it's, like, it's really tough. It's a big, like, confidence thing. You know, just the big thing for me is just staying in the gym, just keep getting better on my own. So when I am called, you know, I can produce. Padgett said when Dang went out and you got the call that he said just focus on defense. How big of a part did that play in your game and then the offense just came after that? I played a big a big part, you know, in practice all the time, you know, the focus is defense. So I think, you know, that's something that I've, I've been trying to focus on a lot. So, yeah, I think it was, it was a big, big part of it. Did, did, you feel, did you feel like you were on a roll kind of? I mean, one, three. I feel like I was, I was just playing how I play usually. Really? Yeah, that's just shooting and just trying to make shots. That's, but that was a big thing that I did in high school. It's something that I, think I really can do here too. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> Wait and see if you're gonna play the next game. Right? <laughs> is it a relief getting a win like this after a three-game losing streak? Yeah, it definitely is a relief. Uh, you know, hopefully we get another uh, win streak. Hopefully. He's so. uh, talked about the zones. Do you like playing? Do you think you guys like playing zone better than the man, or do you have a preference? Uh, we like playing zone. We like playing man. It's whatever, whatever we give us the upper hand on the team is what we want to do. So whatever it is, we'll do that. You had a big game, so did Malik. Darius came off, had good minutes. How important is it that you freshmen continue to contribute off the bench like that? Uh, you know, it's really important. Whenever we get our chances, you know, we gotta take advantage of them. We never know when it's gonna come. So uh, it, it, it's really big for all three of us. It seemed like the whole team kind of came out with just an energy and a focus. What what is kind of like the last couple of days been like at, at practice, and what was the mentality kind of coming into this game? Uh, the mentality in practice the last couple of days has just been defense. All around, just been focusing on defense. We've been letting teams shoot, you know, good field goal percentage the past few games, so we just had to focus on defense the past few days and, you know, buckle up on that end. You guys go to Pitt, a team that's struggling. How important is it not to overlook this opponent? Uh, it's really important. That we're in the ACC, everybody's good, so you know, we just got to go in there and bring our A game. Mm -hmm. You mentioned how important defense was. Do you kind of feel like this team has a defensive identity now? Yeah, we, we, I think we've always had a defensive identity. We can't pick and choose what days we got, we're going to use, though. It has to you know, be every day we come in and play defense. Thanks. How many shots do you usually take in practice? Like when you work on your three point shot, how, you know, how often do you work on it? And how many shots do you try to get up in practice? In practice, honestly, uh, I shoot probably like somewhere between five and ten shots. You know, in practice, when it comes to, are you talking about when we're like playing against each other? Yeah, probably between five and ten. You know, a practice just, you know, just trying to take good shots, really. I took a bad shot tonight, but yeah. It wasn't even a three, though, was it? No, it wasn't a three. <laughs> what, uh, what was the difference defensively for you guys tonight, do you feel like? Uh, just playing hard. We worked on it in practice a lot just de on the defensive end. Just playing hard was a big, a big work for us on the other end. We can't let teams shoot such a good field percentage like what they've been doing. So, you know, that's what the folks just playing hard. Obviously, the zone help. But you can make the <laughs> It's completely different uh, depending on who we're playing, uh, what kind of witness they have. Uh, I think today we did a really good job in the zone protecting the lane, uh, which is what we kind of missed in Syracuse game uh, the other day. We were in a zone earlier in the game and they just drove the ball every single time down the lane and we didn't stop them. So I think we uh, try to start to understand you know, where, where should we be in the gaps and get back to what we did earlier in the season, uh, protecting the lane, and we saw that today. Uh, sometimes with some matchups, you're just going to have to play man to man and Sometimes you're going to have to switch ball speeds, sometimes not. So I think it just depends on who we're playing and what kind of matchup we are against. Was the improvement in the defense tonight a, just a mental thing? I mean, that you knew that you had to improve? Uh, it's completely, you're completely right. It starts mentally. Uh, you know, you gotta you gotta understand who your teammates are, uh, what their tendencies are. You know, when when it's not knock on anybody, but when VJ or DA closes out, I have to understand that more more than likely he's gonna get beat. So I'm in the right position to help, and then the next guy in the right position to help. So I think uh, understanding each other individually and you know, as a team will definitely help us be aware of who should be in the What about the lift that Laura gave you and Darius? You know, these steps. 
going to the wall today. Uh, you know, we're missing the uh, DA out there, but they did a hell of a job stepping into the wall, not being scared. I mean, they started out today, and he uh, you know, game defensively. He you know, went after them, and offensively, he ran the play. He had a crazy pass, but um, <laughs> other than that, he, he played pretty well. He was composed, and Jordan, he, he understood where the role was. He came in, he played into the offense, and he took great shots. That's why he had a great night today. And, I'm not sure where Leaf is if they get the three game losing streak out of the way. I mean, it, it feels nice uh, winning. Obviously, we want to play with win. Uh, but hopefully, this is going to be our first step going into the next six games, and we, there's no step backs anymore. You go to a pit that's. Like that's you a little bit. Oh, Ryan, act like you a little bit with that black shot. Black shot there. <laughs> I think this is his second in the season. <laughs> He did give you guys a spark defensively. Absolutely. I think he had about nine or eight uh, deflections in the first half, which is most of what we've seen out of him. He was uh, everywhere. He was diving for the ball. He was getting, I think, he had like five rebounds. He was all over the place. And, uh, he, you know, Ryan, funny, he, he's one of those guys that beats himself down when he plays bad last game. <laughs> Last game, he uh, he thought he played really bad, and he wasn't his feeling the whole time. Last couple of days, and uh, today he played angry, and he played he, he played really well, and he showed out there. So. You guys go to Pitt; they're struggling right now. How important is it not to overlook a team like this when it's a must-win situation? I mean, uh, one thing we always talk about is never play down to the ground and respect every team. Uh, we definitely gotta respect Pitt, just like we you know, just like we play today, and like just like we play anybody else in the country. Um, Every team had their work. We were struggling last last week too, and I think uh, it's gonna be a, a game, like a, a momentum change to go out in the road and get a win. It's just gonna help us to build the momentum coming up to the whole way we play next. Right, Thanks, Thomas. Again, you know, back in and told us, you know, we can't have a relapse after just one good half. So, um, you know, just a, that midseason goal, I mean, it goes, it hits every team just at different points. And we were going through it, so we just need a little kick in the butt, and hopefully we're off and rolling. What is it about this team in particular? I know it happened a few times last year, too, where you guys would be playing awesome and then you kind of let your foot off the gas pedal. Yeah. What do you think? It's the grind of a season, you know, um, every day, every day going to work and, and um, it gets monotonous and, and that's not anybody's fault, that's just how it's all set up and, um, you know, it's it's tough to, to snap out of that and sometimes you need to take a bad loss or, or to, to get embarrassed for it to happen, but it happens to everybody and um, we're not trying to get too discouraged by it, we're just trying to learn from it and, and grow from it because um, you know, come postseason, we're not going to be able to afford to have that. So, um, just trying to move. As, as a fellow shooter, yeah. Jordan just said he always feels like he's going to have a big night shooting. Yeah, every time. But is there for you, when you see him, is there a sign that he's going to he's gonna be on fire that night? Or? Well, with Jordan, I just, I, I tell him to shoot almost every time he gets it because he's such a good shooter. Yeah, he's so tall and he has a quick release, so it's like nobody can block his shot. Um, so it's easy assist and, and it's it's easy offense. And um, so I always tell him to be aggressive. And, and sometimes he passes up good shots or worse shots. And that's just him trying to figure out our offense or, or how to score at this level. But the kid's a hell of a score. I mean, he, he can put up 20 points like that. Um, and he does it every day in practice. So, um, you know, when, he, when he's focused and he's dialed in and he's locked into the scouting defensively, he, he plays big minutes and, and he scores the ball so efficiently. Is that how you feel? Every night's going to be a good shooting night? Yeah, every, every time I shoot the ball, I, I, I feel like it's going to go in. Um, you know, so <clears throat> that's just the confidence you have as a scorer, and especially as a shooter. Um, you know, if I, if I miss one, the next the next five are going in. If I miss another one, well then, all right, the next ten are going in. So um, that's just how all shooters think when, when we put the work in. I know Darius played great defense tonight. How much of that is just his speed and wearing these guys down? Yeah, he has very quick feet and quick hands, and he's very athletic. So um, you know, he gets 
the way he moves his feet is just impeccable. It's fun to watch, and obviously the crowd enjoys watching that too. You know, it's just his athleticism and, and his work ethic. Nine deflections in the first half. Is that what I heard? <laughs> I had seven. I finished uh, with nine. I was going for the double digits. Um, I was disappointed. I actually asked Coach Mountain, you know, how many deflections do I have, and then at the free throw line, and then I got taken out a second later. So I guess that's karma. Is that something you? I know you kind of hard on yourself. And you seem hard on yourself the other day about defensive more than maybe the offensive end. Yeah, I mean, because I just, I just know I, I wasn't playing too well defensively, and, and I know I could play defense, but you know, there's a lot of people saying I couldn't, and and a lot of people saying that we as a team couldn't. So we wanted to come out tonight. And what about the block shot. <laughs> I just recovered. I got beat on a pump fake, and luckily he didn't create too much space, so I was able to get back to the play and, and block his shot. But um, <laughs> The half court shot that went in after that. I just threw the ball off and just went in. So that was fun. <laughs> you didn't get that push off tonight. You you said do you try to set that yeah. up every game? Do you um, work that every game? Because you usually get that every game. Tonight they didn't give it to you. Yeah, I don't know. I just try to stay in front of them, and then if they push off significant, like enough, significantly enough, then then I'll try to sell it. But um, yeah, I didn't get you it. You did it every game, but you tried to yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, maybe the refs are getting on me. Uh, How much did you guys need this? Uh, you know, three game losing streak, mid season lull. Just need to snap out of it, and we did. Cool.